Hello and welcome back. So I have been piecing together how this Rift Run works and I want to let you guys know what I know about the Rift Run so far. So we're going to go ahead and swing on in. We might complete a Rift Run, we might not. Explaining how this process is going to work um, is sort of the main points of it once you get onto the island. I'll have a full explanation when I get a little further in myself. But so when you first have your Rift Key, which you'll be able to collect, after you finish Firefly Forest, you have to get the um, uh, the keystone from Firefly Forest, which means finishes all finishing all quests, so that you have 100% of uh, Firefly Forest finished. Then you will be able to get that first Dragon Rift key, and so that is going to allow this area to open up. Once this is opened up, I think we're already here, but yeah, let's go ahead and teleport. Then you will come on in and you'll be able to do your first rift run. So let's go ahead and enter here. And for these rift runs, the first ones are gonna be like 30, 35, level 30, level 35. So you should be able to defeat these with you, with with the uh, the um, pets that you have, as long as you have enough. You need to have six pets to complete the rift run so you'd have to have collected six pets and have them at a decent enough level to go ahead and operate I, I think i believe it's the starting is 30 or 35 and then it moves on to um up to 40 to 50 to 60 um by the time you get to rift 6 in order to get past rift 6 and unlock the dra dragon realms you have to beat puppet master and puppet master is going to be located the first puppet master battle here in the academy and so that means you have to collect all of the keystones before you can move past uh past rift seven or past rat rift six into rift seven and so once you get into rift seven then you're able to go ahead and get these dragon orbs you can see rift six you are getting the glacial ward and then it's a bunch of uh, pets over here and then you're going to be moving in to the dragon orb orb region and as you progress up what's cool is that your likelihood of uh encountering rarer pets also increases now i'm not sure if smoldash is going to be a pet that's sort of removed from being obtainable on the main island, Storm Bluff, I, I, I haven't actually seen in the wild. Same with Coral Aquister. Blizzhaired is relatively common, I feel. I see Blizzhaired, but I don't know if Blizzhaired is now going to be just relocated to the Dragon Isle, and that's gonna be the place where we can catch him. The starter pets also are here early on, but these are considered the rare pets to rescue, and I think these rare pets are um, uh, beneficial. Now, because this says plus two more, I think that eventually there will be like a pop-up or something like that for this. I'm not really sure. I don't know if Shiver Tusk will still be in the wild as well, but the uh, the uh, beneficial quality of the pets definitely increases as you go up. So Ember Shed is over here as well. And so um, as we progress through, I'm on Rift 9. I can't see anything past Rift 10, but I need to get four more uh, realms uh, four more dragon <laughs> realm nine dragons uh, before I can go ahead and move past and so that will allow me to move further and further down into the storyline I'm not sure if we're gonna be beating the puppet master we only have 62 keys left and I haven't gotten any more as far as random drops um, so we're gonna go ahead and see how far we can get but this is the general breakdown of how it's going to work um, and uh, in order to capture the pets, you do need to get them down to a level where it is. Uh, let's, let's just go ahead and start. Uh, so resist plant is where we are beginning. If you needed snow fluff, snow fluff is here. So you can sort of guide. I already got snow fluff. So um, uh, we're going to go ahead and skip him. But these are different curses that we have to carry through the entire rift. So enemy speed up, enemy ice up, accuracy down. Having faster enemies isn't that huge of a deal for me um, if I can choose whatever pets I want to choose. So we are going to just go ahead and try to hop in here quickly with Ma uh, Magolem, and I think we'll bring Palm, Palm as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and start this now. And so I would be focusing on getting Snow Fluff down to the lowest level if I was uh, just trying to get through 
and like if, if I was trying to capture him. Right now, I don't really care about capturing him. Um, we're just gonna uh, try to uh, make it through this rift as quickly as we can to see if we trigger a dragon battle. All right, so Leaf Swarm, that huge cabbage, will take care of Mystique. And then I believe uh, it's gonna be a Magolum, and hopefully this Lightning Strike lands on Misty. It does, that's awesome. So there we go, and we just have Snowfluff left over. Which is Snowfluff's turn to attack. So there we go, got a couple of damage there. And so all of the pets after uh, maybe Rift 7, they're all like level 100, and so it's quite chewy battling them. Um, and you really have to think of your strategy as you continue to uh, stack up curse after curse. So we have this curse, so I'm, the enemies are still going to be faster. I chose that, I have to deal with it. Here, physical down. Your team's physical spells do less damage. We have two astral here. Physical I can probably deal with for two more battles. And with astral, it should make pretty fast work of this because I can come on down here. And we can load up our sort of astral dream team, our Regalaxy, and then our Frozera. And I believe they should be faster than uh, Luminex and Lumia. But we are going to find out. Love how her uh, unicorn horn lights up. All right, so Astral Flare is coming. And then it's me, Astral Storm. And there we go. So they are gone already. And then now it's for Galaxy, and we're just going to go ahead and tail. Tail Whip is only good, so we're going to Starburst. And boom. And so this, chal <laughs> this challenge level is set quite high. And um, as we go through here, we got some gear, which is awesome. Um, we are going to go ahead and continue on. So enemy storm up. Uh, this is weak to, uh, so enemy storm up isn't going to be that big of a deal, even though these are all storm. Uh, enemy phoenix, each enemies, uh, each revive once and then heal. This one is kind of a pain, um, <laughs> but they're also all weak to fire. So, and then this is ice down. I think I'm actually going to do enemy phoenix. It's kind of an interesting one. And if we choose wisely, I'm going to get pyrodile in here. And um, I am also going to go ahead and get, let's see, who are we going to find first? Let's see, Mag Mayhem. All right, and so we're, we are going to go ahead and roll on in here, and all of them are uh, susceptible to fire. Remember, we do have Billy Foot in here. So the eruption, wherever it lands, it should kill them. It should finish them off. And it does, that's awesome. But, <laughs> they're back alive. And then, Mystique goes, sorry, Mystical goes for it. Now, Astral Storm will finish off my Ice Caller here. So he is gone for good now. And I think we're gonna go ahead and do Heat Wave. All right, but they're coming back. They have this plus 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 symbol, which means that they are reviving. That's kind of a fun one. All right, that is a big hit from Snowfluff. So four times five is going to be 20. And I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna use Conflagration here for 101 damage. And there we go. But Snowfluff is coming back because of the Phoenix. So they're going to go ahead and hit one more time. Pretty good hit there. And I know Snowfluff is next, so we're going to sever Snowfluff. There we go. And we're going to wrap this up, and then we have a Lucky Loot. Now, it does appear that the Lucky Loot gets more eggs the further you go in the rifts. So the likelihood of triggering a uh, dragon battle, I believe, increases as you jump from rift to rift up and up deeper into uh, Dragon Isle. So here we have the Shadow Dragon, and there's all of these golds that I can land on. Um, did I? I must have beat the sh the uh, Astral Dragon and also the Physical Dragon. Once I beat the, once I land on this uh, Shadow Dragon, then we'll go ahead and. Um, 
start this whole process over. Oh, here we go. Here's the astral dragon coming through. And so I guess it's uh, the, the physical dragon we have beaten. The other two we need to go ahead and try. Let's go ahead and hit a lucky loot now and see where we land. If we get lucky, which we don't. So we're going to have to do the rift again in order to try to trigger the dragon battle, um, which is a little bit of a bummer. And you actually don't see those at all until you get to... Until you get to level 7. Rift 7 is when you first start to see that. So here, when you're spinning the lucky loot, it's all just gold. All just gold. And then you start to get these orbs filtering through. So I'm going to go back in, try again, see if I can get another one. Um, and just keep on progressing. I don't know how high this goes. But in order to unlock Rift 10, we do have to go ahead and get four of these. Uh, trigger four of these dragon battles and then win them. Um, so we will see, we will see. I hope this helps understand what we're going to be doing when we get in here uh, for the uh, rifts a little bit more. So starting off, it's quite easy. And right after you finish Flora's quest, if you're a new player, you get to begin, which I think is really cool. And you can play through all the way up to six. And you can actually redo six as well. So you can continue to redo six. I could enter here, but there really isn't much of a benefit for me since Rift and Nine is what I'm trying to clear in order to get to Rift 10. Um, I'll keep on bringing a little bit more information. Tomorrow I'm probably going to put up a Q&A um, on my uh, community page so that you guys can ask me questions and I will do my best to get the answers for you. Have a good one. Keep on prodiging on. Love, love, love this area. This is going to be a really awesome addition and has a high level of uh, replayability. So uh, take care. We'll see you soon, guys. Keep on prodiging on. Bye-bye.